Hello and welcome back to another episode of Beers and Budgeting. My name is Justine and I'm with Debt Free Millennials and this is my husband Kyle. What's up? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where you can find all things millennial money and debt-free living. If you want to learn how to live a debt-free life, stick around and subscribe to the channel. Beers and Budgeting is our monthly budgeting meetings and we have a beer together, don't we? Yes, we do. And what are we drinking today? Well, today we've got the Bikini Blonde by Maui Brewing. Yes. Bikini Blonde by Maui Brewing. And we went to Hawaii this past month, so we brought this back with us. Got two of these. They're 5.2% alcohol. They're from Maui. So uh, why don't we crack these open? Let's. And give them a little taste. And the trick is, if you've never flown back with alcohol before, obviously you have to check your beer. Duh. Uh, but you roll them up and close. At least that's what we do. And then we allow a su sufficient amount of time to let them settle because they have been shaken up in your bag. But you can do that for free. Pretty clear. It's a lager. Should be nice. It's nice and beautiful and sunny today, so this will be perfect. Ooh. I need to let mine settle. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. That is smooth. Nice could, and light. Could drink that by the pool all day. Definitely a pool beer. Or the beach. Or in Maui. Yeah. Hmm. Speaking of which, we talked about we went on vacation to Hawaii and we are going to go over our expenses in our monthly budget report. So I'm going to go ahead and get that open for us. Here's what we got going on for April. Okay. We're up fifteen hundred bucks. That's good. Yeah, almost sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to know on some of these things is uh, Cox. We have Cox Internet and Cable. We've been on some discount packages, and we have a cable subscription that includes HBO and Stars. And I think that ju just got uh, to its expiration date last month. So I'm. It's on my to-do list to call them and say, we are not paying $82 a month when we were paying $72 for the past year. So okay. that's on the to-do list. Under our groceries, no money on alcohol. Taxes, we paid our taxes in April. Mm-hmm. Okay, 25 bucks a month. You know, that's about, that's almost perfectly estimated. Uh, Mm -hmm. Gas was really well estimated. Gas is really expensive right now. Yeah. Holy cow. It it has crested $4 a gallon in California. Yeah. Thank goodness we only have one car. Paid our tags. Everything else there looks good. Yeah. And for the groceries, I was really excited that we were under budget for our groceries and toiletries and I've been using our uh, dude we need food envelope this is from the how to control your spending workbook and I want to show the groceries tracker T where is that it's over here all right hey, welcome back oh thanks okay hey Garth <laughs> hey Wayne <laughs> party on <laughs> Uh, this is my groceries tracker, and at the top, this is part of the How to Control Your Spending Workbook, and this has been kind of a problem area for us in the past, so I've been using this to track how often we've gone out to the grocery store, and every time I go out, I list the date, where I went, and then how much we spent, and then added it up. And then at the bottom, I ask if you're under or over, and we were under, and then what you'll do differently for next month. And I think next month or for May, I want to focus on just doing meal prep for three to four days at a time because I felt like I was getting so much. And often, you know, we'd go to Costco and I feel like Good I'm, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm throwing stuff wasted. out. Yeah. It never feels good. Yeah. If you want to check out this and 50 plus pages of content, check out the How to Control Your Spending Workbook. I'll link to it in the description below. Okay. So other than that, 
taxes and tags were two yeah. one-time things that happened yeah. for April. Let's go to fun. Restaurants, we were Restaurants. pretty well spot on. Yeah. Yep. Fun Amazon. money, we were way under. Did we really not spend anything on Amazon, Target, or Lowe's? You went to Lowe's. You went to Target. I did, but when I went to Target, I spent money on toiletries, which is part of our groceries budget. You bought yourself a shirt and shorts. That's out of my clothing budget. Oh. Which, <laughs> speaking of... Yeah, where's the red highlight on that? <laughs> Jeez. Good. Well, it was gracious. highlighted there. So we keep running totals of our clothing budgets so that if we see something that's more than $50, then we have it in our running total. And I'm, I'm under, I'm negative $21. Good thing it's in the budget. And I bought shoes, a dress, shorts, and a sweater. And a sarong. Oh, I need to add that. Shorts and sweater. What's a sarong? Is it like a samurai thong? It's a beach cover-up. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you bought clothes too. You bought shoes. Yeah, because my old gym shoes I had had for over five years. So it was time to update those. And this was from Amazon. Yeah. This also, I bought us a new entryway table from Wayfair. And I took that out of our running total for apartment decor. So now we only have $45 left in that category. What's really kind of interesting about that whole situation is the first entryway table came to us damaged. Then Kyle was like, you know, I think I could fix this. So he did. Yep. Wayfair sent us re a replacement for free, and now we're selling the like-new table on Craigslist to see if we can get some money out of it, because why not? So that ended up working out in our favor. Cool. Everything else, all of our subscriptions for fun, we hit. Um, do we want to talk about future? Yeah. Okay. So month over month, our down payment fund keeps rolling. So now we're almost at sixty three thousand. Last month we were at sixty two thousand. Okay. So we've grown that by a thousand bucks. So that feels good. Yeah. Um, our initial goal is seventy thousand, so sixty k for ten percent down, and then the extra ten for closing costs and other expenses outside of the down payment. Yep. Okay, the vacation fund. Let's talk about this. So you had a work trip to Hawaii. Yeah, amazing. Went to Oahu, stayed in Waikiki was one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. It's like nowhere else on earth. Highly recommend you go. Has anybody else been to Hawaii? Let us know in the comments. We did Oahu. We have plans to go to Maui for my birthday. I'm obsessed. I get why people just love Hawaii. Without a doubt. In total, we spent $1,400 on this trip. Your uh, Per diem, your reimbursements have not come in yet. Right. So once we get that factored in, our out-of-pocket costs will be less than that, which is amazing. You had your flight paid for. We also had a rental car paid for, the hotel paid for, which also included breakfast and happy hours. That significantly cut down on our costs for food and for drinks. Mm -hmm. I think we did it right, yo. Yeah, Hawaii for $1,500. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like that we spent buku bucks on was the luau. Yeah. It was really commercialized. They had a buffet, but there were four lines of buffet, and there was probably 500 people at this luau. Would not do that again. It was just really cheesy yeah. and touristy and... Yeah. Food wasn't that good. The performers were amazing, though. Holy cow, yeah. 
the performers were awesome. Yeah. But other than that, what was your favorite part about Oahu? I mean, sitting on the beach, looking at a dormant volcano in the background was pretty cool. The sea turtles everywhere. Yes. I liked hiking through the jungle to the waterfalls. That was pretty neat. Yeah. We had a Pearl Harbor experience that was like none other. Uh, so we listened to Justine's grandfather's recollection of Pearl Harbor because that's where he was during the event. He was stationed there. So we retraced his steps and saw exactly where he was at and what he was looking at. It was a pretty uh, humbling experience. We have a recording, an audio recording of my grandfather's you know, story and my Uncle Jerry, thank you Uncle Jerry for sending me the audio because I didn't have it on my phone and this recording, what did I say, was done in the 80s so my uncle had it uh, transcribed from a cassette to an audio, an mp3 file and so it's been shared among the family so I was so so grateful to be able to listen to that story while we were at Pearl Harbor because it you don't really understand the magnitude of it unless you're there. I think that goes the same with uh, the World Trade Center. And being there at the site, at the 9-11 memorial site, the magnitude of it is just so much more than actually hearing about it on the news or watching it on YouTube, in my opinion. Absolutely. That's how Pearl Harbor felt for me. So it was really, really special. I think surfing in Waikiki was probably one of my favorite moments of Hawaii and swimming with the sea turtle. That was really cool. And the falls, everything. Anything else? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> okay, so our other vacation fund trips, we booked a flight to Omaha and we used our uh, refund from Southwest because we had booked a flight to Portland that same weekend. So we changed things. That's what makes Southwest so awesome is if you cancel a flight, you get to take that money and it's used as a travel credit so you can use it to book another trip instead. I really do like that about that airline. And then I went to Vegas with my gal pals. And I ended up spending less than 200 bucks. I have really awesome friends who also expense the trip. So thanks, girls. You know who you are. And that was it. I don't think you had any other work trips for April. Right? That was gone last week. Yeah, but... but that ran into May. Yeah. Okay. So you need stash updates. Yes, so who is doing Stash? This is another money-saving app that we are testing. We just started it last month, and it looked like we had two $10 withdrawals from our checking account, so 20 bucks total, and I'm curious where that's going and how we're doing. Yeah, so I put $10 each into two different funds. They're kind of like ETFs or mutual funds. Uh, but we've made 16 cents so far, so we are at $20.16. Oh my goodness, yeah. well. We do $10 every two weeks right now. We could probably do more, but that's about what we were setting aside for uh, for Acorns. We were doing $20 a month as recurring deposits, so we're doing $20 a month with Stash to see how it does. Okay. And then let's talk about acorns. We did a video on acorns and when somebody joins using our link, we get $5 and they get $5. Yep. So that actually has been really helpful for us in terms of growing that, that account because we're not adding anything else from our checking, right? Exactly. We've stopped the roundups, stopped everything. So we were at $1,096.15. Wow. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. All right, so we've been keeping my automated contributions to my IRAs the same. That's been going well, kind of recovering from the dip that the market took last, what, November, October? December. December. Mm -hmm. And then our Treat Yourself Fund, if you haven't had a chance, go watch that video. We had... 
We had a good time. We had such a great time. We saved up a thousand bucks and used it on a treat yourself day. I we had sixty five dollars left over. Yeah, and, left that in there. Yeah, so I just left that in there and then added our one hundred dollar contribution. So we're already at one sixty five. Cool. So that feels good. Okay, so that's our budget, and we have a surplus. And I had one idea, but then you had another idea about what to do with the extra funds. So do you want me to talk about what, what my thoughts were? Sure, this is going to go in a clothing budget, <laughs> the core budget. Nope, it's not. So if we have $1,600 roughly, I was thinking we could split it three ways. One into our new car account, which only has five hundred dollars in it, and then a portion to retirement and a portion to the down payment fund. Yeah, sounds good. However, you had another thought. New phones ring a bell. Yeah. Phones are so expensive now. It's kind of crazy. I can't believe how much Apple wants to charge for for a new phone. And we're on Sprint, and Sprint used to give you discounts, and now they just stopped doing that. Oh, really? Yeah. You used to be able to have a discount if you bought directly through the Sprint store. You'd get, you know, two, $300 off the price. They're not doing that anymore. Okay. We'll have to start looking into this. Yeah. Now they're doing this phone leasing option, and I've kind of looked into it because I, I was under the assumption that leasing a phone, they would charge you interest to do so, right? It's just like maybe doing a car loan is kind of how I thought about it, or leasing a car. I really don't know anything about it. I buy a phone. I get a new phone like once every three or four years. Yeah. So, got to look into it. So... I was thinking, or you had mentioned maybe getting a new phone because yours has been kind of crazy. Mine has been a little weird because I can't hear people when they call me. <laughs> uh, do we use some of this money to get new phones? Yeah, I mean, just put it in an account for now. Some of those are fairly liquid, so we'll just pull the money out when we find the phones that we want. But what about these other other goals are you saying take a portion of it for the phones or just leave it no put the five hundred dollars for the house in the house account and then when we need that money we'll just pull it back out for the phones or maybe next month we'll have surplus and we'll come out of that surplus if we buy new phones next month hmm. they can make it too complicated just put it somewhere and we'll pull it out later hmm. this is the difference between the person who does the budget and the person who's here to drink beer Well, I don't like put I don't like withdrawing money from other goals to fund another goal. And put it in a phone account. It's all you dude. Okay. Let me let me marinate on that. Uh that's our budget for April. What do we got going for May? Are we taking any trips? Colorado Springs. We're going to Colorado. You have a couple of work trips. Any other birthdays, holidays, Mother's Day is coming up, which we can use our gift fund for. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty easy going. Cool. Yay. All right. That's it, guys. Let us know how your month for April went and what kind of categories you're really focused on tackling for the month of May, I'm not spending any money on clothes since I'm in the negative. I need to get that back up. That's my goal. And also be more mindful about meal prepping for a shorter amount of days for groceries. And I'm going to drink beer. And you're going to drink beer and you are going to be part of this. And if you liked what you heard about Stash and Acorns, Look below and we'll put our links to download those and the links to the videos so you can see what they are and if you want to try them out. <sighs> Cheers, me! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, babe. And with that, give this video a thumbs up and we will catch you next month for another episode of Beers and Budgeting.